On the first day of January, the Sepik community who've been living here behind the Bulolo police station marked 10 years since they moved here. So I was walking stuff along, district making, then district must make This was two weeks ago when we spoke to Peter Palua, a spokesperson of the group. He said the future for them is uncertain. And while the Bulolo district has discussed their relocation, very little has been done so far. All or young pla, blame pla. In 2017, Bulolo MP Sam Basil announced resettlement plans, but the progress has been slow. But Basil says land has been allocated. And we've already um, surveyed those land, and we are in the process of uh, getting the streets done up and allocation and uh, relocation of those people back. I think uh, funding was one of the problems. Bulolo's Sepik families have been here since the 1930s, during the gold rush years. Their integration into the Bulolo community over the last 80 years has been slow. In 2011, tensions between them and local tribesmen escalated into violence and they were forced to relocate. Me been 21 years old, I lose Bulolo and come out. Me come stop, me walk stop, fight been come up. But like many ethnic groups around the country, it's difficult to fully integrate a largely landless people into another community. And the government is also struggling to find long-term solutions. Bulolo MP Sembasil says the situation needs provincial government support. There's about three or four generations there and they belong to Bulolo. We have to own them. Own them. We have to keep them and we have to uh, rehabilitate and uh, resettle them back into a, uh, a new place that we've located. But there are communities like this all over the country, and it will take years before long-term solutions are found. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Leigh.